The government's proposal to take over Starship has been a hot topic lately, sparking considerable attention. But do you know why they're seeking to collaborate with SpaceX? It stems from their previous attempts to replicate SpaceX's Starship for Earth-to-Earth -Earth transportation, which ultimately ended in failure. Yes, you heard that right. There was indeed an attempt to replicate SpaceX's Starship. So what exactly went wrong? How did the Pentagon endeavor to copy Starship fall short? And what's driving the Pentagon's desire to acquire a Starship of its own? Let's explore these questions on today's episode of Great Space X, where we uncover the fascinating dynamics behind the ambitious proposal. In 2017 at the International Astronautical Congress, Elon Musk unveiled an audacious plan for the Starship project. Starship Earth to Earth. This groundbreaking concept envisions Starship operating akin to a commercial aircraft, facilitating rapid transport of people and cargo between Earth locations in less than an hour, all at a price point comparable to commercial flight tickets. With its potent Raptor engines, Starship promises to revolutionize travel by significantly reducing flight times. For instance, a journey from New York to London could be completed in a mere 29 minutes compared to the conventional 7 hours and 55. Similarly, travel from Tokyo to Singapore would be condensed to just 28 minutes, a remarkable improvement from the previous 7 hours and 10. To achieve these staggering speeds, SpaceX intends to utilize the power of Raptor engines and leverage the advantages of low Earth orbit, where the craft is unaffected by atmospheric drag. This strategic maneuvering will enable Starship to attain velocities 10 times faster than conventional airplanes operating within the lower atmospheric regions, where factors such as air resistance and wind play significant roles. This visionary concept holds immense potential for individuals and organizations worldwide. Notably, the U.S. government and military forces are particularly enthusiastic about such a system. Given the United States' pivotal role in global security, the ability to swiftly transport personnel and supplies holds immense strategic value. Such rapid transport capabilities could prove invaluable in reaching conflict zones or disaster areas promptly, enabling swift humanitarian or military response efforts. However, the Pentagon's approach at that time was flawed. Instead of pursuing collaboration, they sought to develop their own independent system. Thus, in June of 2021, the Pentagon, spearheaded by entities like the U.S. Transportation Command, or TRANSCOM, U.S. Space Force, and Air Force Research Laboratory, proposed a project dubbed Rocket Cargo, with an initial investment of 48 million U.S. dollars. Essentially, this initiative mirrored, if not outright replicated, Elon Musk's concept proposed four years earlier. It aimed to deploy vehicles capable of rapid global transportation with an emphasis on reusability. This proposal exuded ambition, positioning the United States, a perennial leader in transportation technology, to achieve groundbreaking strides. The Pentagon's vision promised to set the U.S. apart from its global counterparts, introducing a level of innovation unprecedented in the realm of transportation. Yet, as many had anticipated, the endeavor faltered, understandably so, as the plan lacked originality, being a mere imitation of an existing concept. Neither the government nor the military boasted the expertise of SpaceX's engineers, essential for executing such a pioneering vision. Compounding matters, the government was concurrently heavily invested in projects like the Space Launch System, or the SLS, and the Artemis program, which commenced a year later. Consequently, the rocket cargo project failed to garner the requisite attention and priority, impeding any significant progress. Despite the setback, the Pentagon remained undeterred in its pursuit. It eventually adopted a different strategy, opting to collaborate with SpaceX in a bid to realize its transportation goals. This sentiment has been echoed by numerous prominent figures within relevant agencies such as the U.S. Space Force and the U.S. Transportation Command. Among them, Stephen Lyons, a former general at U.S. Transportation Command, 
expressed enthusiasm, stating, I can tell you SpaceX is moving very, very rapidly in this area. I'm really excited about the team that's working with SpaceX. Starship has garnered high praise from these HSCs due to its extraordinary speed and remarkable payload capacity. Originally estimated to launch 80 tons of payload at 7,500 miles per hour, Starship has since undergone improvements, now boasting a maximum payload capacity of 150 tons and a speed of up to 16,700 miles per hour. This enhanced capability enables Starship to carry twice as much payload and travel dozens of times faster than the U.S. military's C-17 cargo jets. Additionally, with its cost equivalent to that of a commercial flight, Starship promises substantial cost savings compared to the C-17, which has an operating cost exceeding $200 million. However, the ambitions of the Pentagon and the military extend beyond mere admiration for Starship's capabilities. They aspire to possess a system under direct control, leading to the recent proposal for the government to own SpaceX's Starship in a government-owned, government-operated capacity. The rationale behind this request is the government's desire to have a vehicle for sensitive and potentially perilous missions. This proposal carries significant implications for all parties involved, particularly SpaceX. It could potentially disrupt the company's long-term plans, notably its ambition to colonize Mars. The diversion of resources towards fulfilling the Pentagon's request may impact SpaceX's roadmap for Mars exploration, not to mention its involvement in upcoming missions like the moon landing within the next three years. Furthermore, relinquishing complete control of Starship to external organizations could compromise its original purpose. There is a risk that it could be misused for nefarious purposes, undermining the peaceful and developmental goals SpaceX has championed throughout Starship's development. Consequently, SpaceX faces a weighty decision and must carefully evaluate the ramifications before reaching a conclusion. The actions taken by the Pentagon have undoubtedly exposed significant shortcomings and errors in their approach. From the outset, the Pentagon's pursuit seemed narrowly focused on acquiring a vehicle tailored to their specific needs. The decision to replicate Elon Musk's ideas highlights a fundamental flaw in their strategy, a lack of foresight and originality. Developing such groundbreaking concepts requires extensive research, meticulous planning, and a clear roadmap, none of which were adequately addressed by the government. Consequently, the project floundered before it could even take off, resulting in a squandering of valuable time and resources on an untenable plan. Had they chosen to collaborate with SpaceX from the outset, both parties could have reaped substantial benefits. The Pentagon would have expedited access to a vehicle meeting their requirements, while SpaceX would have received invaluable support to accelerate their project and navigate regulatory hurdles more efficiently. However, the Pentagon's recent proposals suggest a sense of entitlement and opportunism. They appear to leverage national interest and influence to compensate for their inadequacies and compel SpaceX into supporting their endeavors. Nonetheless, it's crucial to recognize that Starship remains the brainchild of Elon Musk and his team, and they retain the right to safeguard their creation. While SpaceX remains committed to serving the greater good, they rightfully demand that their vehicle be utilized for noble purposes and that their original plans remain intact. Ultimately, any collaboration must align with SpaceX's vision for advancing space exploration and benefiting humanity. Indeed, beyond its immense potential, Starship possesses unique characteristics that set it apart from any other project. It stands as a remarkable feat of engineering, a project that resonates with the dreams and aspirations of individuals and organizations worldwide. However, the successful operation of such a groundbreaking product requires a specialized skill set and a deep understanding that transcends conventional expertise found in government or military circles. Instead, it demands the ingenuity and insight of those who conceived it the talented engineers at SpaceX under the visionary leadership of our genius billionaire Elon Musk. These individuals possess an unparalleled level of expertise and familiarity with the intricacies of Starship's design and functionality. Their expertise is indispensable in realizing Starship's full potential and pushing the boundaries of exploration, whether it be missions to the moon, Mars, or the ambitious Earth-to-Earth -Earth transportation endeavors. In essence, the success of Starship hinges upon the continued involvement and 
and guidance of SpaceX's talented engineers, who remain uniquely positioned to propel this groundbreaking project to new heights. Literally. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.